Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and welcome back to another episode of what I'm playing. I decided to revisit the save I had from the last episode that I did of Civilization VI, which was two episodes ago now. And I wanted to kind of give you guys a perspective on what's happened. This was the original main city that I had, and I founded many cities since then. Uh, all these cities right here I founded. I uh, conquered this one from France right here, Calais. And I just recently took over Toulouse from them as well. So those are part of my empire now, along with all these others. I'm currently allied with Russia, which is really ironic and weird because I keep settling right, right next to them and then buying up tiles so they can't get those improvements. Like I made sure that they couldn't get the coffee or the iron or anything like that. You know, I didn't want them to have those resources because I don't think Russia has any. I even made sure that they didn't get this here. <laughs> but we're still friends somehow. And, um, but I'm not sure how much longer it's going to last because I can see all of Russia's units right now. And uh, they've got three bombardments going on here. Uh, the very first war I had with France, it was actually a joint war between me and Russia versus France. They asked me to sign up with them and I was like, sure. That sounds fine. France is kind of the bigger threat anyways, because France, they decided to mess with my religion because they have Catholicism. Uh, Russia has the Eastern Orthodoxy. And I founded Protestantism, but I kind of made a mistake when I did that because literally whenever I did that, I had three missionaries from France coming over to basically bombard me. And they completely wiped out my religion. So I can't, like, do anything with my religion at all. Like, it, it still exists, technically. Like, if I go into the religion tab, for example, you'll be able to see that I still have this religion, but I can't do anything with it. Uh, even if I try to put my own missionaries and everything like that, it, they're only gonna do Protest or um, not Protestantism, but Catholicism. So I can't even spread my own religion. Uh, so, uh, it's kind of funny though, it worked out that way because it gave me the ability to declare a holy war against France, because whenever you declare war against enemies, you have to keep in mind, uh, what's called war wariness and war wariness penalizes you for making unjust combative actions. You know, you can't just go around attacking everything. If you get a lot of war wariness, you're going to get uh, rebellions and, your troops are going to fight more poorly and that kind of stuff. So you want to try to avoid those penalties as much as possible. And I wanted to kind of have a little bit of a battle with France. And so I decided, you know what, I'm going to do that. Um, me and France are still at war currently. Um, I'm thinking I might press on luck and take their capital and then end the war. Which will automatically move one of their capitals elsewhere. But if I take over Paris, that's going to really hurt them for the rest of the game. Um, so anyways, I've already got my turn established here. I'll show you guys some of the rankings and whatnot if you're interested. Um, I'm actually doing pretty good now. I've got the highest score right now. And we can see the uh, point split and whatnot. Of course, Empire, I'm way ahead of everybody. I'm getting to that point now where I'm starting to advance a bit more on the technology front than the others. Uh, although they're still pretty close-knit. I haven't really delved a lot of resources into libraries and stuff like that. I really wanted to make sure I had a strong offense, a strong empire. Um, and I have plenty of room that I can still settle a few cities without any trouble. You know, I can build a city here, here, here. Um, I can probably put one right here too. So I've still got plenty of settling opportunities. Uh, everything's pretty good as far as that. And uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and see how this war plays out here. Let's see what uh, France does. <laughs> it's going to be their turn now. So let's see what they do here. Oh, something happened. I don't know if it was a spy action or what. But, yeah, they're they're attacking my encampment, of course. Makes sense. Uh, they're attacking it again instead of the knight that's literally right next to him. It's going to rape him. <laughs> Not literally, but uh, figuratively. Um, but yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with that there. Yeah, we're going to heal them. Oh yeah, they, st they still the uh, stole a freaking thing. I know it's probably France most likely because they've been practicing these kinds of things on my territory. 
So I might need my I might, I might need to get a spy finally, so I can practice anti-spy stuff against them. Let's go ahead and get our uh, archer, and we'll just keep shooting at him, shooty shooty, bang bang shooty shooty with the arrows. <laughs> That's a reference to uh, our well-known Call of Duty clan. Just ask Cyrus Martin about it; he'll tell you all about it. We're infamous in the world of Call of Duty. Modern Warfare Remastered on the PS4. There we go. Not really, though. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and have our knights tear these guys up. Oh, man, they're going to rip them a new one. Check that ish out. Yep, they are done, son. Okay. Uh, let's get our cannons up in here. We'll be able to make pretty short work of them, I think. I'd say within three turns, we should have Paris taken over. Because I've taken out most of France's military, as it is. They don't really have much military right now. They might have a couple units back there that I can't see on the map, but most of them are dead. I would say, so... They're dead, Fred. Let's go ahead and uh, keep, keep them just hanging for now. I don't want to... Uh, do things too harshly. Oh, okay. They actually got a swordsman. Okay, that's interesting. Not a very smart move, considering I've got cities with uh, both uh, castles and <laughs> encampments, so I can bombard them twice. Not very smart. Not to mention, he does literally doesn't have anything else. Like, you didn't bring any kind of bombardment stuff or catapults, siege towers, nothing. You're just going to get your butt kicked, dude. Um, playing the Prince difficulty, of course, I guess not the smartest difficulty setting. I don't know if the game maybe randomizes how smart enemy, or, wait. Oh, is he, oh yeah, he's gonna spend a lot of his movement points just across the river. That's fine, he can do that. If you, as long as you have at least a movement point, you can still fortify so you can heal up and whatnot, so that's always nice. Um, unfortunately, since I, what is that, a Russian unit? It's kind of weird. Why is he stuck up there? <laughs> yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. I I'm not feeling too comfortable with the way Russia just kind of wandering around my territory. But they've got open borders with me right now. We've got an alliance. So if they decide to pull a surprise attack on me, it will automatically eject them from my borders. So that's really nice because, I mean, that was something I guess you would be kind of worrisome. People can just act like they're friends and then they just pull a fast one on you real quick and take you over. Now, you can't do that, fortunately. Uh, not immediately, anyways. Uh, let's see. Do we want to build a university or a bank? Uh, let's go ahead and do the university. That'll be a good thing to do. Uh, can I park in the musketman move? Can he move here? He could. We're just gonna move him there. I guess I could have moved him there anyways. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna keep these generals. The generals will give you attack boosts and whatnot. So I'm trying to keep them all together. Keep everybody together so that everybody can benefit from those attack boosts. So we got Osberg upgraded here. I am kind of a little bit worried about Russia. So I'm gonna build the wall so because I don't have any military up there, I'll at least have the ability to shoot them with the walls if they do attack. Uh, what do you got here? Okay, you built your mine. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and build this here. Okay, I guess that's going to be that turn. So we're at turn 211. I think whenever we wrapped it up last episode, I was still pretty early in the game. It was like turn 30-something, so... Now we're like getting close to the midway phase if you're playing a full 500 turn game. But this game's probably not gonna last that long. I'd probably give it about another, I don't know, 100 or so turns because I'm going for a domination victory. I'm planning on conquering everybody. Uh, but you know, once I get the upper hand off France and whatnot, that'll definitely give me the edge I need to just be a little bit ahead of everybody else. Yeah, I, I have no idea why Russia is so in love with me. You know, I guess Russians and Germans, they have a complicated relationship in history. Your alliance with Peter has run its course will have to be renewed. Okay, well, let's, let's do that. Let's see if uh, they'll want to realign. Um, I'm going to declare friendship. Oh, 
Okay, Russia. I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay. Um, let's do a little trade. Maybe if I give you some of that coffee. And I'm going to say, what would you give me? Okay, they'll give me some gold. I'll take some gold. I'll give you some coffees from gold. That sounds fair. Uh, so let's take that deal. Maybe making those deals. Wait, no, I don't want to denounce them. Let's declare that friendship again. An old friend is better than two new ones. I don't get that. Okay. I I don't I don't understand the significance of that, but that's okay. We'll we'll at least have little trade deals. Maybe that'll kind of appease them. But I don't know. Like we're probably gonna have to move the military up north once we uh, wrap this conflict up with France. Most likely, it's gonna happen. Let's see what kind of uh, technologies we've got going here. Um. Two universities. I am building a university there. How many turns is it going to take? Five. Okay. So we are going to do that, but I don't want to waste the uh, technology. So for just a temporary amount of time, I am going to... Um, yeah, I'm never going to do that. So, Or the cartography for that matter. I'll put a little bit in cartography, get that done. So I'm going to move this uh, knight up here. Oh, nice. Okay. That's fun. Okay, can we swap? Nope. I guess that knight's just going to have to take take the hit. No, I can't pillage even. It would be nice if I could pillage that. Okay, what can we do here in Berlin? Berlin I've been having a lot of trouble with because... I can't really get the population to stay up, so I can't really advance it. But that's because I got too much uh, production stuff going on. I'm probably going to just have to tear a little bit of it up and just build farms. Um, otherwise, I guess I could wait until their borders expand. I, I guess I might just tear down this rainforest. I don't know. Build a farm there. Could be a good idea. Is this Berlin's also? Okay, it is. But that's like one of the only sources of food they have, really. Let's go ahead and build our walls, just in case. Yep. Get all them, get them going here. All right. We'll have them swap next turn. Skip! Didn't I already tell you to do that? Pretty sure I did. See, uh, Greece, they have an archer over there. I don't know if they went all the way around or if they crossed the ocean. I don't know if they have the ability yet to do that or not. That's a certain upgrade you have to do to before you can actually cross all the way. Yeah, getting that cannon in position there. They have to be at least two hexes away or closer. Be useful. Okay. Oh, okay, so I got printing. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to switch our science up to uh, to do that now. Since I got that bonus. Um, yeah, let's do it. Because they can still fortify. Oh, shoot. I just realized something. The cannon. The cannon needs to be in position, too. Okay. So fortify the cannon. Get these guys in position here. They can't fortify, unfortunately. But these guys can fire off some shots and get things started. With our uh, little invasion of Paris here. I should have built a, a siege tower. That would have made things a little bit easier for the melee units. Because they would have been able to just ignore the wall damage. That would have been really nice. Uh, let's see. That was very dumb of the archers to take position like that. I guess they're just wanting to rely on maybe another shot. But now I've got the bombard units. I can actually start taking the walls down. And we will move our uh, 
musket men in there. I just recently acquired them, so they're, they're, they're going to be handy. But do we have to... Everybody has to cross a river, of course. Naturally. Let's move you up here for now. Yeah, no. I guess not. I don't know why they took three whole movement points just to move across. It's stupid. Okay. Mm hmm. So, yeah, like I said, I don't even know if I want to bother building the temples and stuff like that because, like... You know, I don't have my religion anymore. <laughs> it got taken over. So I'm not sure if there's a point in that or not. Maybe if I completely defeat uh, France, I don't know if that would get rid of their religion or what. Because I remember in a game I was playing, I had a battle against the Islam nation or whatever, or Saladin. And I completely defeated them, and it got rid of their religion, more or less. Like, my religion took over, so... Um, I'm not sure if, like, troops can somehow spread it or what, but... It worked out in my favor, obviously. Okay, let's get some production going here. So, that's gonna remove the district. What kind of district is that? Can't tell what it is. Hmm. Looks like a uh, normal thing. I'm not seeing a district there. Maybe it's because it's builders in this stupid way. That could be it. Let's get, yeah. Maybe I can actually see what's on there now. What is that? Is that just a mine? Yeah, it's just a mine. Okay, that's fine then. Yeah, we can definitely build the... Uh, hands of there. That's basically our industry district. That's going to really boost up our production. So we can build things a lot quicker there. I said I'm really big on production. I really want to build things quickly. Because those buildings help out a ton. I mean, there, there's, a, there's a lot of balancing you have to consider with these games. There's a lot going on. And, uh, you know, you can't really neglect any one thing too much, but you have to know what to prioritize. There, You have to have priorities at the same time. You know, you can't just be essentially a jack-of-all-trades because then you're not advanced enough in certain aspects, which can slow you down. So you gotta have, like, a priority, but you can't let, neglect anything at the same time. You have to just really balance things out. It's very tricky. Getting our can of fire in there. Okay, these guys are basically gonna be bait. We're gonna go ahead and let them fortify. We'll let them attack this unit. And uh, everybody else will take their pot shots. Because the AI, they love to attack just the weakest units. They don't really look at the bigger picture, at least at these lower difficulties. Maybe if you're playing a higher difficulty, like I probably could. Uh, you're going to see more challenging interactions in, but at least for the time being, I don't have to worry about that. Okay. We got our uh, musket men in place. They can, uh, once the necessary damage is done to the city, they can move in and take it over. And then we will we'll, uh, go ahead and declare peace with France. You know, uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, let's do that science. Really speed things up. Why not? It's not part of this land anyways. I think that's... Well, I don't know. It might, might have been part of Paris. Nah, it's gonna be part of Ruin or whatever. Okay, they can fortify to heal up. Okay, I, I don't know why I did sleep on that. Wake up. Let's see a turn. Well, I guess they could probably, but... When they go and sleep, you don't get like any notices unless something immediately happens to them. So, like, if the units come in range but they haven't attacked yet, it'd be nice to know that. Okay. Oh, interesting. They are attacking a different unit. Okay, I wonder if they're... They called that bluff, didn't they? Hmm. You know, I want to at least conquer Paris before we wrap up this episode. 
I don't know how long we've ran on. I don't want it to take forever, but I want to show you guys a little bit of a war action here. Actually, we might be able to take him this turn, possibly. These cannons are really effective. We'll see what the archers can do against them here. Archers aren't the best at uh, this kind of stuff. Yeah, they're not going to be too effective there. Well, can this guy move in and get an attack? Yes, he can. Okay, yeah, we can take him over this turn in. So let's go ahead and shooty, shooty him up. Everybody gets a little bit of experience, you know, so they can level up and whatnot. Let's move our general in there so that he can give them a little bit of attack boost. Like, he'll, they'll already get one. Like, you just have to be adjacent. The heck's adjacent. Okay, so they'll win. Let's see who's closer to getting an experience. Okay, so they've already got a level. They don't. Or do they? Okay, we'll let them take the city, because they'll have a promotion after they take it over. Then both of them can level up. Alright. There goes MF in Paris, right there. Gay Paris. No more. <laughs> okay. As in they're not happy anymore, because I just conquered them. Obviously. Don't be that way. Don't be that way, guys. Okay. Alright, so we got our technology. Yeah, printing just finished. Let's go ahead and do military science. Yep. Alright, we're going to declare peace at the end of our turn here with them, because I don't really need them to worry about us anymore. If they will, I don't know. They're, but I'm not going to let them do it without seeding Paris, because I need Paris. All current units gain a promotion level. Terracot army. Shoot, that's worth building. Uh, where can we build that at? Yes, let's do it. I don't know, though. That's pretty risky. Like, will I lose the benefit of... Let's see what the... Um... With the stats are on a plus four fate plus one great general i don't know about that hmm forbidden city is probably a little bit further along i think we'll let them build that plus i've got a more choice on where to place it i want to place it in the spot that's got the least production okay that'll work All right, sleep him up. Actually, yeah, I'll just put him on alert. Alert will automatically notify him if uh, they get close or whatever. They can shoot them anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and move. Well, I guess they won't. Can I move my general? No, they can't. That sucks. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, build a theater. Then get a little bit more land around there. Hmm. I think it's high time we do a commercial district. That would be a good idea. Ooh, I got three there? What's, what's that? Oh, we remove the stone. That's not that big of a deal, because that's going to be a really good gold boost. I think that might be worth it. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, Paris. We'll go ahead and repair the granary. Might as well. It's only two turns. Okay, so let's go ahead and make allies with them now. Or not allies, but friends. Let's make peace. Oh, okay. Well, not right away. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe we'll try to take over Lion also. Maybe. That'll be a little bit wiser move. Or I can go to Ruin and split them up. Hmm. Well, that's something I'll have to think on my own. I want to thank you guys very much for checking out this episode. If for some reason you want to see an update and see what the end game looks like, kind of, um, make sure to leave a comment. 
I'll uh, probably I'll try not to play too much into it just so that I can actually record episode if there is any interest on that. So, but till then, Dow Phoenix out.